hey seekers welcome back welcome back to my channel it's always a blessing just to have you back here let me adjust my mic y'all just make sure that you guys can hear me loud and clear right. it's always a blessing to have you back here now today's reading is for aries aries it is going to be your day to shine shine go just go ahead and shine bright and just shine beautiful like the diamond that you know you are also, please make a friendly note that the reading might not resonate to your situation. If it doesn't, that's okay. You could always come back another day because I do upload pretty often here. And if it's in fact your first time that you're here and you're not subscribed to the channel, please feel free to do so. And turn on the post notification. That way you'll be the first one to be notified each and every single time that I do upload brand new contents. And also, please give the videos a thumbs up for me because... Once you thumbs up the videos, y'all, YouTube will see that you like the videos and they'll push the videos out into a much wider audience. The channel will grow. The video will grow. For all my returning seekers, know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for the love and thank you for the support that you show here on the channel. I do see the love. And believe me, the love is not going unnoticed. Now, also, please make a friend and know that the card has been shuffled, my darlings. The card has been blessed. Before I get into the reading of prayers, I must because... We do pray here on the channel, so I'm going to get into a quick pray, tap into your energy, pull some messages through, and see what the angels have for you today, okay? Oh, let's adjust this camera just a little bit more. Alrighty. Alright, let's pray. Every thought as I go along my day, as you bless myself and my seat, because Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel. Giving me the right words and giving me the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know. Everything for that I do give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, y'all. So this is a general reading. It will not resonate to every single one of you. Take what from the reading what resonates to your situation at hand and leave the rest. You can pick up your person as energy, past, present, or future person. Even the cross watchers who are watching, this one might resonate for you as well, okay? And if you do need to have a personal reading, y'all, connect with me using the information that you'll find in the description part of today's video to have a personal reading done. All right. All right, angels, what's the messages here for Aries, please? Past, but on a future situation. Okay, wow. Having the moon here. So you guys seem to be on some kind of a cycle here. A constant cycle. Take note of intuitive messages, all right? So that's what angels are saying with this moon that is coming through. Um, I do feel like for sure, and 10 things for sure, and a million things for certain, is that you guys seem to be on a, some kind of a journey. Um, I feel this journey is manifesting new situations. Someone needs to know that they need to put the hard work in and don't stop dreaming big. I do feel like some of you might have forgotten to be your own kind of beautiful here. Somebody needs to know this. This is the energy that I'm pulling in with this card coming through. Take note of intuitive messages. Take care of the surroundings, things that is in your circle right now and your circumstances. Um, let's put an angel through. All right. We have the angels of learning. Okay, so the angels of learning is what's bringing that through. Um, take note of intuitive messages, learning, learning and creating new adventures, learning and creating new journeys and, and, and challenges that you may be faced with. And this is why the Sky Father is here to help you on this journey, on this adventure, on this mission. Um, trust in the unknown, okay? Trust in the unknown here because what we I see coming through is the high priestess okay the high priestess is is and will take the ability to manifest what is theirs high priestess takes charge dominant over what they want um fight for what belongs to them fight for the truth fight for love fight for purity fight for manifestation 
High priestess is one that does not settle, not, not allowing oneself to settle for less here. Arnest mystic power. It's a power that is, that is, that is kind of, let's just say generated like a very strong energy here with this high priestess. For some of you people even say that you have a, a psychic ability. Some of you, even people might say you have, you're a witch, but you're not a witch. You're just, e you're just easy to kind of dictate when things are not right. You kind of see things before they happen and you kind of have the power to manifest gratefulness here. And people, some of you is very intimidated by you being the high priestess here. Now, <laughs> Whoa, whoa, I'm telling you, y'all. I'm telling you. This is a white witch, okay? This is coming through. Be the light. You see what I just talked about? I did say people tend to feel or think or always say that you may be a witch. Some people say, oh, you're doing witchcraft, but you're not doing witchcraft. You just have the ability to see through people and their nonsense and their bullshit. And that is what it is. That's all there is to it. You have a very intuitive mind, soul, and body here. And you're not to be played or to be toyed with, okay? Um, and a lot of people will not understand the energy that you possess, but you possess a very rare energy. That's why I tapped into, as soon as I tapped into your energy, Aries, I pulled in, be your own kind of beautiful. Be your own kind of a special, all right? Be your own kind of a whatever you want to be. Because you are that. You will be celebrated. The three of cups, okay? You will be celebrated, okay? Um, they have no choice but to celebrate you because you are great and you are greatness. So you will be celebrated whether they like it or not, okay? Um, I'm seeing some kind of achievement here. Uh, this could be a celebration that is coming together with family and friends. Um, I do feel like this could be something that you wanted to manifest in yourself, spiritual, yeah. something, this could be a spiritual journey here. Um, but what I do see is someone may have thought about marriage. I'm seeing marriage that's coming through y'all. Um, this marriage is giving me a decision. Okay. Someone needs to make a decision based on this marriage, this plans, this goals. For some of you, you might have already been married here, but there's still a decision that needs to be made here. Okay. So just go ahead and just take what's yours, y'all, and just leave the rest. Uh, but there's definitely someone that wants to make a decision here based on what is not going uh, right, what not going correct. Know what you want moving forward. Know what it is that you truly deserve. Know what it is that you want to manifest within yourself. Know what it is when the line of give and take has disappeared. And it's calling for you to make a solid, concrete choice a decision moving forward it has not been made because i do see disputes here this eight of swords is giving me there may be some this bid be some dispute between your person and yourself or for some of you who are not really into a, a relationship of such or marriage ship of such you have something around you that is pulling in disputes okay Disputes, arguments, and quarrels here. But I do see jealousy that's coming through with it. Jealousy is really pushing its way through here. Why? Um, that's kind of weird. Well, it's not weird if people are jealousy or jealous. Jealousy comes in every form, shapes, and sizes, okay? So it's not really weird. But just be guarded here um, and just kind of find a way to walk away from these quarrels because this is what I see that's kind of coming towards you here. A lot of jealousy and quarrels here. Yeah, somebody's definitely watching right they're watching your movements they're watching your steps you're watching um whatever you have they think that you may be planning something so they're kind of lingering and watching and waiting and kind of stalking on low here it's like you know their intentions are not to have you know that this is what they're really doing but obviously it is okay the chariot is here now the chariot been here with this hangman here i do feel like this situation here it's definitely moving rather slow, though. As far as what you might have expected or maybe have some kind of expectation to this hangman here. But it's moving rather slow, y'all. Like, really, really slow. Um, I would recommend you not wait or not waiting any longer. Yeah, because you're healed from whatever that bullshit had caused you before. Don't wait, okay? Because if they're coming through with an apology here, because some of you didn't do need an apology here, for sure, because the decision showed up here that had needed to be made, okay? So I, what I see here is do not wait. 
do not wait so if someone is coming into work towards you with some kind of apology of some sort just know that it will not be as sincere as you would have wanted or hoped it to be just make your decision moving forward accept what you feel like accepted but there is no need to embrace what has approached you now if this chart represents you okay what I see you doing or what I needed you to do is just to make steps moving forward as far as making yourself happy. Be your own kind of beautiful here. Own beautiful soul, right? Um, because I do see heartaches and sorrows here. Uh, something had either felt like it might have died inside you or this is how you might have felt, dead, Okay. Um, someone maybe had a miscarriage or maybe asked someone to have an, ab have an abortion here, but this is what I'm also feeling also with this, um, uh, this nine of swords. Hmm. I'm getting a lot of pain here and a lot of sadness that's coming through and I hate feeling that way. But listen, we all been through this sadness at one point in life. So it's okay to ask and to seek help if that's what you need to do here but at the end of the day you want to just try and let this situation go okay this situation is not one to hold on to you don't want to hold on to the situation because it's just going to bring wears and tears to you and on top of it this hmm this five of swords is having me feel like there's a whole lot of mystery here okay people wearing masks and all this, that, and the third, okay? Being something that they're really, truly not. Um, and it's time that you just um, walk away from this because this, this five of swords also means conflicts too. Jealousy. And I already picked that up somewhere around here already. Jealousy. I do feel like there's other people that are snowing, talking, and there's a lot of gossiping that's going on here. And the problem is these people who are gossiping and talking, they're, they're no help to resolve the situation here. Having a good time. While there's a lot of conflicts going on here and sadness within one's soul. Now, because that is coming through, Angels is, is, is giving me the five of cups here as well. Um, and I do feel like this could have been a marriage. I did pick up a marriage here with this Erephon here. Okay. And I'm also picking up a marriage again with this five of cups being here. I do feel like the connection has been lost. So let's just say you guys might not be married, even though I feel a marriage coming through. And it's definitely not a marriage, but it feels like a damn marriage to me, okay? And if it wasn't, it could have been a feeling of you might maybe spend a lot of years with this person, even though this person never committed with a ring. Because a ring doesn't mean anything, okay? It is the heart. All right, you could anyone could go buy a popcorn ring and put it on their finger and say I'm married, but it feels like something that was kind of leading on to that more of a stable type of a relationship. That's what I see coming through. But however, the connection has been lost with this five of cups being here. The connection whew, through the window simply because someone chose to kind of kind of see what was out there. Kind of start dating somebody else. Um, for some of you, many people. But the timing is not right here. Because this temperance is here in the reverse. And this timing, I feel, is not right. As far as moving forward and going back. Because someone needs to change their childish way here. This childish way is not having things resolved. Situation still going left to the left to the left. And not in your direction, okay? All right. All right, angels. Angels of learning. Because that's the angel that came through for you guys for this read, okay? So let me see what's coming through with this. Um, angels of learning. Let's see what's popping up here, okay? Aries. Because I do have some things that I need to clarify with you guys here. All right, so we have the four of wands on the back of the deck. This four of wands is the, is, the, is the card that you never saw because it's in the back of the deck. Now, this being here is really having me feel a marriage once again. This was a marriage that... Oh, my goodness. I hate repeating myself because that's how I feel. I said it before. 
this could have been a marriage or it was something that was destined to a marriage. It could have been an engagement. It could have been, I promise and I want to marry you. Someone talked about marriage, if you guys weren't. Because someone started to build something here with this four of wands. Someone started to invest into this four of wands together as a couple. I wanted to have the peace and harmony here and the abundance here. Um, and I wanted to work together. And that's what one started to do here. Now, I do also feel the work was put in, but it wasn't kind of set in place here. Even though the work had started, the journey had started. But let's just see what's coming through here, okay? This is a justice card. I'm getting divorced, okay? I'm getting divorced. So this feels to me like, like I felt before in my spirit, y'all. Oh, amen. All right? This is the divorce. This just this justice this justice here in the reverse. This feels like a divorce that is coming through here. Oh my goodness. Separation. Um wow. My goodness. Pinch me, angels. Pinch me because ooh, ooh, I feel like I'm doing a personal reading here. I don't know why I feel like I'm doing a personal reading, y'all, but I feel like I'm doing a did I swear to you. I feel like this spread here is a personal reading, y'all. It's a personal reading. Because this means a divorce. This justice in the reverse. For me, it means divorce. It means separation. And the two of cups confirmed with me that this relationship is a separated. This in separation. Look at that, y'all. I'm not playing. Okay? All right? Now... This set of swords did come through. It came through with the two of cups. It came through with the justice card, both being in the reverse. Now, this here, because this had happened, a divorce and a separation, it's giving me sadness. It's giving me fears and pain. It's giving me mental breakdown is what someone had here. Okay? Sadness because of what one had to deal with here. But remember again, I'm going to take you back. Where my intuition told me when I first started your read, when I pulled these one, two, three, four cards first, I picked up be your own kind of beautiful. Why I said that, I have no idea, but it kept, it kept coming through my spirit, okay? And I'm still getting that. Be your own kind of beautiful. Work hard, dream big. Why? I don't know. It's keep coming in. Mental breakdown, sadness and tears and fear here. There's a definitely was an obstacle, okay? Oh, wow. There was definitely some kind of an obstacle here. An obstacle. This obstacle, this Ace of Pentacles, it represents a lot of stuff. Besides representing a financial security, stability, and love, and, and loyalty, and light, I am getting marriage goals. I'm getting someone wanted to... Uh, to build marriage to the structure with someone here, okay? Someone really yearned marriage and everything that came with marriage here in this Ace of Pentacles. That was the intention. That was the intention here, okay? That was the intention here. And this was the intention here, but it didn't work out as planned. Manifestation. It's building empires and dreams and making sure that whatever you your heart desire, working hard, dreaming big, this is all here in the Ace of Pentacles. It's all here. But at the end of the day, the Eight of Cups came in, y'all, in the upright. In the upright. This situation took off running. This situation is no longer. Angel of learning came through once again. This was your angel that came through to validate your reading today, right? Angels of learning. This is the 19th angel in your place, placement, right? I recommend that you write this angel down on white paper. Place the number 19 on this angel, Angel of learning. Place it under your pillow while you see tonight. This angel will manifest and work on your behalf based on what you're dealing with here, okay? 
So be sure that you write this angel deck down. Angels of Learning, number 19. This person walked away. Walked away. And this is where the sadness is coming through. And this is a separation here. And this is a divorce here that I'm seeing. Okay. I'm getting everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. And I'm getting God did not leave you for a minute or for a second. He did not bring you this far to leave you, my darlings. He did not leave you. Neither did he forsake you. But you have to believe and have faith that within him, all things will be added in your favor. Somebody needs to hear that, okay? I love you guys so, so, so much. That's going to be your read for today, my darlings. Don't forget to thumbs up the videos for me. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Um, and if you do need to have a prayer request, because this particular reading here, it feels like a damn personal reading. I don't know why in my spirit. I just feel like it's a personal. This one is personal. It's for somebody. Okay? But just go ahead and put your initials in the comment section. If this is for you, go ahead and do that. Um, put your person's um, initial there as well so I can do a prayer chain for them. And um, just pray, y'all. Just pray. Pray. I tell you guys that all the time to stay prayed up and stay fast up. But it is definitely true, y'all. Stay prayed up and stay fast up because when you do that, you combine those two together. Let me tell you something. You will be untouchable. Untouchable when I kid you. Not, okay? So go ahead and start doing your praying and fasting and combine those two together. Pray for me, y'all, as I'll be praying for you. And just know that I love you guys so, so, so much. I'll see you in my next one. Until then, always remember to seek first and you will always find.